Good evening, this very night. How are you? I hope you are all fine. Thank you for watching me today. Today is another day for our night devotion. And I believe God has been so kind with you. Before we get to our bed, I want us to have few words in the scripture. But before then, close your eyes and let us pray. Mighty and everlasting Father, today we have come with your word. Let me be an ordinary vessel, but let every directive come from you. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, brethren, we have what we have to discuss today. I my topic tonight is planned accusation planned accusation that is my topic for tonight i will quickly read the book of uh, luke gospel chapter 6 i will read verse 7 and the place read thus and the scribes and the Pharisees watch him, whether he would heal on the Sabbath day, that they might find accusation against him. Hallelujah. Amen. I have uh, three words I'm extracting from there. So we are going to look at it. And before that, we know the story of the scribes and the Pharisees and um, what they did to Christ every time they found Christ in his ministry they were there monitoring him to see if he will you know violate their own law because it wasn't the law of Christ it wasn't the law of God it was their own law okay and um, when they saw him in the temple and they went and monitored him okay and that is what that very portions of the bible says i know you might have you know come across with this story you can read other verses in order for you to really follow but what i am concentrating now is the luke gospel chapter 6 verse 7 let me read again so that we get into other words we have to extract from there and discuss tonight. Luke Gospel chapter 6 verse 7. And the scribes and Pharisees watched him, whether he will heal on the Sabbath day, that they might find accusation against him. So I have three words I'm extracting from there. The first one is watch. The second one is law, and the third one is accusation. So first of all, I'm going to look at watch. We can is when we talk about watch, it could be equally referred as monitoring, depending on the context or the the, the plan behind it. So the Pharisees and the, the 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 scribes they were watching over Christ to accuse him. Yes. So their own watch was not ordinary to observe. So they were just monitoring him so that they would raise uh, issue against him. Okay? Let us read the book of uh, Acts of our Apostle, chapter 9, verse 24. But their laying awake was known of Paul, was known to Paul. And they watch the gates day and night to kill him. You see now, their own watch was to commit havoc. Their own watch was to kill. Their own watch was to accuse. So when they heard about 
Paul found in a certain place. They watch the gates that Paul will pass through so that they will be able to kill him. So their watch was of evil. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. So I want to tell you every eye that watch over you against taking your life by the power of the Holy Spirit anointed me and on my tongue I decree and declare that they shall all die in the mighty name of Jesus. Nobody that will watch over you to take your life will succeed. Every fashion formed against your life, the Lord says they should scatter and go to nothing in the mighty name of Jesus. They lay wait because they are away that Paul was somewhere and they wait at the gates day and night to see when Paul will pass so that they will kill him. That is the war. The number two, law. Law. And this law, I will read the book of Esther, chapter 4, verse 16. But before then, we know what law is. Law enslaves man. Law equally control the characters of the citizens. But there are certain laws against religious people. They may make law against your faith. They may make law against your will. There are some laws that can affect you entirely. There was a law against the children who were the children of God called the Jews. So we want to read that book of Esther chapter 4 verse 6. You will know that the law kills. The, do, the law make one perish. Because once a law is made, anybody going contrary against the law will be punished. The punishment could be a church. The punishment could be in cell. The punishment could be in prison. The, puni uh, the punishment could be even unto execution because of violating of the law. So there are certain laws that may be against your faith, against your policy, against your life. Okay, let us read the discussion Esther made with his brethren, the Jews. He said in uh, Esther chapter 4, verse 16, he said, Go, gather together all the Jews that are present in Shachar, and fast ye for me, and neither eat nor drink three days, night or, or, or day, I also and my maidens will fast likewise. And so will I go in unto the king, which is not according to the law. And if I perish, I perish. There was a law that at this point, somebody should not visit the king. A woman should not go to the king. But this was the period equally that uh, uh, Amma planned evil against Mordecai. He knew that during that time, nobody would have access to the king. If anybody enter into the king courts, at that time of the law, that person will be killed. It is a law. So, the Haman made plan against the life of the Jews and Mordecai. He made it when the law has been made. His plan came up when the law was made. So how will Esther meet with the king 
without losing her life. So he has, she has no option than to call the Jews. He said, why I am going to serve the Jews, our brethren, please gather all the Jews and pray that God should preserve her, that she is ready to go and meet the king. If at the end of meeting the king, she die, there's no problem, she rather die than not going to serve the children or the children of God, his own brethren, the Jews. So I want to make a declaration tonight that who should ever make law against your faith, who should ever make law against your willing, whether it is the government law, whether it is the local government law, whether it is a community law, whether it is a secret society law against your life. I say by today, by tonight, every law will be over overlooked and all protocol will be broken in the mighty name of jesus believe me the word of god that every law against your life jesus has counseled the law as making make you a free person as esther took the decision let me go and see the king if i perish i perish but then if you read the story Esther had victory because of what prayer. Because prayer counsel every plant of the devil. Don't forget my topic: plant accusation. Plant accusation. Amen. Okay, I will equally look at. Accusation. We'll read Matthew chapter 27 and I will read verse 37. And we all know what is accusation. Accusation is against what you have not done. So whatever level the level against you is accusation. Anything you have not done and they say you have done is accusation. Yes. So the people when having monitor Christ, they were looking for a way to accuse him. Remember where we read before? I said, Luke Gospel chapter 6, so that you follow me. And the scribes and Pharisees watch him, whether he will heal on the Sabbath day, that they might find accusation against him. Somebody to heal, is it a crime? On the Sabbath day, but actually Christ told them that who among you will have 99 cattle and one miss, that you will not drop the 99 and run after the one that is going astray. He warned them every power that the devil used in order to trap you down, God will not allow them to succeed. He will shame them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let us read that Matthew chapter 27, verse 37. Matthew 27, verse 37. And set up over his head is accusation. Written, this is Jesus, the King of the Jews. <laughs> because he told them he is the King of the Jews. So they present it as accusation. That he they accuse him that he leveled himself equal with God. And they level him that they have the king, but he also claimed that he is the king. They use it as accusation. My brother and my sister, I'm not going to take you long again. I already consumed your time. Remember my topic, plant accusation. But listen to me. Every monitoring spirit coming to you, monitor you to see if you will break a law to use it against you god will blind them for you in the mighty name of jesus can i hear you say mighty amen whoever makes law to trap you god will trap the person down for you in the mighty name of jesus whosoever accuse you wrongly to disgrace you and to shame you God will fight for you 
and disgrace them and put their plan to shame. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My brother, believe what I am proclaiming to your life today that no fashion, no fashion form against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Amen. Brother and sisters, close your eyes and let us pray. Thank you, Father, for your word. You have given us a wonderful message tonight as we will get, get to our bed, which the topic is planned accusation. Many people have been planning against our brethren, accuse them on what they have not committed. Some have ended in prison, some has ended in cells, some are even being killed for nothing they have known. But Jesus, you came for this purpose, to free them, to free them, to free them. Every form of accusation to take the life of your children I call upon your name and I counsel it in the mighty name of Jesus. Every monetary spirit watching them to accuse them, I blind them in the mighty name of Jesus. Every person that is making law in order to trap them, I declare once more that the law will be broken in the name of Jesus. Give them life and get them free from accusation, get them free from monitoring and get them free from law against them. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Brother and sister, I know many of you have passed through this scenario, being taken into cell for nothing's sake. Even when you try to tell your utmost truth, they don't want to accept with you. But I want to tell you tonight, God has come to fight for you. He's going to fight for you. In your family, whoever accuses you is going to fight for you. In your community, whoever accuses you wrongly, God is going to fight for you. Whoever imprisoned you for wrongdoing that which you have not done, and the Lord is going to fight for you. Who have ever arrested you for something you do not know about it, God is going to fight for you. Believe in the word of God, that God will fight for you. Once more, always pray and thank God for the life you have gotten. Pray for the protection of your life. And if you have been blessed in the messages that which we present to you and you want to sow a seed, please, you can do that on the screen. Account details on the screen. You can do your transfer or any seed you want to sow. Or you can call us on phone number written on the screen 70 God bless you as you will support this ministry in order to continue to upload this video for you to watch. God bless you once more. Goodbye.